Hi all, this is Chris Charles, Everyday VBA. We're going over a error. The error is the name you entered is not valid. You're going to run across this if you're doing a uh, recording in macro. Um, it does happen. It happens quite frequently, actually. Um, but what does it mean? So we're going to go ahead and dig in. We're going to record a macro because this is typically where you're going to run across this. Uh, the first thing is, uh, that first one is the name does not begin with a letter or underscore. So if you start with a space, um, macro, it's going to say if you start with a space, if you start with a funky character, it's going to give you that error. You have to start with this underscore or a letter. Pretty straightforward. It can be uppercase and lowercase. That's that's not necessarily as important. Um, the next thing is, is the name contains a space or other invalid character. So let's do a, a two words. So this would be this macro. It's not going to like that because it doesn't like this space. Um, now remember, uh, anytime you do a sub procedure, the name of that macro has to be in a sync. It does, can't have a space. So it's going to give us that error. Uh, if we put in a funky character, it's probably going to give us an error as well. Um, and you'll notice it highlights the area that it doesn't like. Now you can always use underscores. Underscores are perfectly fine. Um, the next thing, the next issue that you can run across is the name is conflict with Excel uh, built in name, the name of the object or workbook. Prime example is sub. As you know, if you're writing a macro, it's going to say sub, then whatever the macro name is. Well, if you did sub sub, it's going to, it's going to cause an issue. So that's why that, that's why that error happens. Um, it's fairly common can be ridiculously frustrating when you run into it and bang your head against the wall because you can't figure out what the problem is and then it seems like once you found it then it's obvious which is kind of how a lot of coding works once you solve the problem it's easily solved so anyway hope this is helpful hope you enjoyed